Hello, everybody. Good morning. This is Dr. Evelyn coming at you from We Will Get Through This. Um, I am doing my typical mind-body moment today, and this particular episode is on resourcefulness. And we're just going to start out by discussing some definitions of a few words that are all kind of interrelated, but <clears throat> they, they really do help you think about what, what your aim is and what your intention is as we move through uh, today's live session. So resourcefulness or being resourceful is defined as having the ability to find quick and clever ways to overcome difficulties. <laughs> so um, I don't know if you guys have heard of The Alone Show. Um, I think it's, it's originally on History Channel and now there's some episodes on Netflix and some episodes on Hulu, but basically these people are sent out completely alone into the wilderness and they have to just try to survive there um, as long as they can, basically to outlast the other contestants on the show. And I don't know why shows like Naked and Afraid or This Alone Show or these Survivor shows always, I become so enraptured in them, but I think it's because they are just amazing examples of these types of resourcefulness, right? They are amazing examples of what human beings can be capable of and what they can come up with, with limited, so far, you know, limited in the way we would think about it. Um, you know, you resources <laughs> at their disposal and they are finding food and they are surviving in these situations. So we'll come back to resourcefulness. <clears throat> but then this led me to, you know, in my line of work with working with the human nervous system and people's ability to heal themselves, resourcefulness is very important part. I'm so sorry, I have this frog in my throat. <clears> throat> um, anyway, people have, resourcefulness is very crucial for these people because really we're getting their own bodies to heal themselves from the inside out. So if you didn't have any of the resources to, you know, to feel like you could do that, um, that leads to you know, chronic illness in a lot of people, for example. So helping people find their resources and find their resourcefulness in their own healing is a really big part of what I do. And I will explain this further. I know I'm kind of jumping around. <laughs> um, but really, Really, what I want to talk about, about resourcefulness, is when we look at the alone show, for example, a survival show or something like that, we we look around in the environment and we say, okay, what resources are available in this environment? Is it fish? Is it food? Is it, um, is it you know, wood so that you can make shelter? whatever it is. And what I'm talking about today are those resources that are within us already, that we carry with us already. And that is something that we really can focus on when we're feeling overwhelmed, when we're feeling stressed. Um, in one of my previous episodes of the Mind Body Moment, I talked about how a sense that there is not enough resources to meet the demands of our lives is what leads to the feeling and experience of stress. So 
if we can increase our sense of resourcefulness and identify the resources that we already have within us, that we are carrying around with us every day, they're not from our external environment, it's not based on circumstance, it's really honestly the resources that we have within us, um, then we can become more resourceful, use all of the parts of ourselves, and then that is really what's tapping into our potential, right? Our human potential. So, <clears throat> sorry, it took me a little bit to get started, <laughs> but I hope that that was, that you're on the same page with me now. So a few examples of how resourceful we are as humans, you know, not only do we look around in our environment and figure out how we can use different things in different ways, or, you know, oh, we discovered how to cook certain uh, vegetation so that it could be edible to us. Um, we also have the ability to adapt physically, okay? Um, and adaptation is a huge part of our health and wellness. Adaptation definition in biology is a change or the process of change by which an organism or species becomes better suited to its environment. So we know that adaptations can happen um, gradually over generations, right? That's what leads to evolutionary change and change in species over time. But then we can also adapt from situation to situation, right? If I step outside and I realize that it's really cold and I don't have enough jackets or layers, I start to shiver and my blood just naturally starts to leave my hands and feet and go towards my core organs so that it can keep my core body temperature at a certain range, right? That is an adaptation. And without adaptation, that's when we end up getting um, you know, that's what causes a lot of health issues for people, right? The inability to adapt. You know, what would happen if someone was unable to shift their circulatory system or constrict their blood vessels? Um, you know, they might bleed out when they're cut. They might not be able to regulate their temperature very well. Um, and these things are crucial for health and well-being. So, so how interesting is it that the innate capacity for us to constrict and dilate our blood vessels, that is a resource that we have, right? We started thinking about this, <laughs> how amazing it is. You can go down this whole rabbit hole. Um, so great. We have that side of the resourcefulness. But then we have this whole other side, right? Of course, this is our mind-body moment. So I gave you a body example, and now I'll give you a mind example. We have so much resourceful, and so many resources in our mind alone, right? The way that we choose to think about things, the way that we decide to perceive things, whether we question um, our own paradigms, our own previous belief systems or not, we have so many layers and so much that we can tap into in our body-mind that can help us through almost any situation, right? And that is ultimately what's going to lead to resilience. If we are able to be resourceful, know what we've got, and utilize our potential, that is what is ultimately going to make us resilient towards the stresses of life and allow us to continue to thrive, continue to be healthy, and continue to grow and evolve and adapt um, 
even under the most wild external circumstances, right? So for, uh, <clears throat> for me, I think the, the difference, learning the difference between resource, resourceful as like, oh, okay, I can look around and see what's in my environment and have what's at my disposal and the resourcefulness of, okay, what, who am I in my whole being? What is already there? What is the potential that I already have inside me, right? Potential is something we already carry. It's, it's like this, it's like if we're a seed, that seed contains the potential to become a plant it, even if it isn't yet, we don't we don't say, oh, the plant is not part of the seed or that seed needs to go out into its environment and collect what it needs to become a plant. No, we don't need that. It's within us, right? And if we can see that as resources that we have, then we can increase our sense of resourcefulness. We can increase our sense of resource. And then that can then therefore combat that sense of demand that when out of balance leads to stress response. Okay, I hope that this hasn't been too confusing with all of the different verbiage um, that I have been using <laughs> to describe the words. But um, I just, the activity, so we're going to move ahead and do an activity that will hopefully solidify this concept a little bit more. So just for fun, you can reflect on or list um, ways that you have changed and grown, ways that you have adapted or shifted, and you can even think about what it took in order for you to make that change or shift. And then when you, when you go through this assignment or this activity and you are looking at what it took to make that shift, you can further break it down into what were external factors and what were internal resources that I already had <laughs> that I just decided to, to pull out, right? That I tried to, that, that I decided to utilize. And that is really where your resourcefulness came in. And when you start to focus on the fact that you've been able to change, you've been able to grow, you've been able to problem solve, you've been able to adapt, right? You've been resourceful. You can harness this practice just like any other practice that you may practice. <laughs> I need to come up with some better words. Um, but, you know, like meditation or like breath work, we can practice resourcefulness the same way. And when we start to realize how resourceful and capable we are, we tap into, wow, I really do have all of this potential. Um, you know, you can start to identify the parts of you that are meant to be a tree, even though you feel currently like maybe a small seed. And you can, you can feel that empowerment in that and really use that as the belief and the faith that you can grow and change and that you can get through anything. And it's based on fact. It's based on the truth. It's based on something that's already there. You don't have to go out and collect it, right? You don't have to harvest it. You don't have to seek in your environment and feel, um, feel let down that your environment might not have the same things that someone else's environment has, right? No, this is all internal. This is all inside of you. Okay, so to go over the exercise again, we're just um, listing ways that you've changed and grown in the past, 
and or learned and use those. You can break down what allowed that change to happen, what were the external factors and what were the internal factors, and then really focus on those to notice your own capabilities and your own potential. And then bring that forward in your life, knowing that you are capable, that you are resourceful, you have internal resourcefulness, and you're willing to search around inside yourself for parts of yourself that could be utilized in different situations and ultimately have more health, more wellness, and more resilience in the long run. Um, another activity that is a little bit more, um, is a little bit more, maybe not simple, but just tangible as far as uh, things that you can do to start to noodle on this concept is um, list five things that you have enough of and potentially, you know, hopefully not external environment things, but like, you know, enough confidence or <laughs> I have enough, um, I have enough energy. I have enough, whatever you can, you can use them as tangible things that you have enough of. Like I know I, I always have enough water and food or whatever. Um, but try to try to give them like I have enough energy, I have enough time to rest, mm, I have enough, um, you know, I have enough friendships and relationships or enough support, emotional support, um, you know, just list those things, and then think about how you utilize those resources. Like my energy, I have enough energy. Um, and then you think about how you're utilizing them and you're like, wow, I maybe spend a lot of energy um, on, you know, keeping up appearances or trying to keep these specific people happy or, you know, whatever it may be. And then be like, is that really where I want to be using this resource? I have so much of this resource. How can I use it in another way? Where could I apply this resource into an area of my life that might need a little bit more growth or a little bit of adaptation or a little bit of change? So you can do that too. Okay. Um, that is basically my mind body moment for today. Again, I'm Dr. Evelyn. I am a chiropractor in Half Moon Bay, California. I specialize in helping people with connection, connecting their body and mind, um, adapting to life circumstances, and optimizing their potential. So um, that is why I talk about this stuff. <laughs> if you have any questions or were confused about anything in this talk or any of my other talks, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, I love talking about this. <laughs> so you won't be bothering me at all. Um, and yeah, take care everyone. I really hope that this landed for you all, that you really are feeling your resourcefulness, that you are feeling your potential, and that you enter the rest of this week feeling so innately capable to handle whatever comes your way. All right, take care and until next time where we will be talking um, about, we're just going to do a cool meditation um, where I highlight all kinds of things that your body is doing that you might not even realize it's doing. So we're going to kind of nerd out while we meditate. Two of my favorite things wrapped up in one. Okay. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Bye.